What is up and is going on guys, Simpsy here, and welcome to another episode of my FIFA 15, my player career mode. So guys, in today's episode, we do submit a transfer request, and we will be moving to a new club in this episode, and we do have two matches in today's episode. I didn't particularly want to spend too long in the A-League, simply because it would just get quite boring, because most of my subscribers wouldn't know the teams in the A-League. So... We simulated the rest of the matches and we submitted a transfer in January. So these are the clubs that have given us some offers here. Everton said, uh, would you like a run at the club? And also Southampton. And these were only the two transfer requests or offers we got. So that's actually quite interesting, getting 100000 per week to play for Everton or 70000 from Southampton. Although money doesn't matter in uh, the play career, but it's kind of irrelevant. Um... I think I'm going to go with Everton. I think that would fit the narrative. There's been a lot of good Australians at Everton. My main man I'm talking about is Tim Cahill. He was just superb from them. And I can imagine that the Everton board keeps a keeps an eye on the A-League. And they've sought out and picked Simpsy out. Now, I did actually reject because you do get transfers in the deadline day. So we're on deadline day here waiting uh, to see if there's any other, more, any other clubs uh, wanting to be interested in me. So we only got two transfers. Uh, uh, two requests, or three requests really, but only from two teams, Southampton and Everton. So guys, we are signing for Everton. We are going to the Premier League, and I really can't wait to see what happens. So we do have two matches in today's episode playing for Everton. We have one against Arsenal, so we get our debut against Arsenal, which is crazy. And we also have a European match now, Everton actually aren't doing too bad uh, in the Premier League at the moment in the career mode. And we also have the opportunity to get some European football under our belt. So what we are got to do now is we've got to make our claim and uh, hopefully become the main striker at Everton. There is a lot of competition. Obviously, Sammy Esso, of course. Uh, he will be leaving at the end of the season, though. Lukaku, the newly signed man from... Uh, from Chelsea, and Everton does have a lot of Chelsea players online. So these are the objectives. The league wants me to set up, uh, the, the board wants me to set up five goals and score five goals this season. So obviously looking at those stats, I'm not going to be playing all that much, but let's have a look at the squad report and have a look at my at my competition here. So as you see here, Kone as well, there is a lot of strikers uh, at Everton at the moment. But uh, I'm still one of the well higher, higher rated ones. Sammy Eto is rated 81 along with Lukaku, but uh, yeah, there's a lot of long, sh a lot of young strikers, so we need to really stake a claim and uh, and try be the main man at Everton. So guys, my main objectives for this career mode is to uh, play for one of the big Premier League, uh, like the world class teams. I want to play for Real Madrid. I want to play for Barcelona or Bayern Munich. So that's the main objective for this series, and hopefully we can work our way to that. So now we played in the A-League, we played as Melbourne City. Now we're going to continue the rest of the season at Everton. Be the main man striker. Once I've done that, we'll submit a transfer request. Hopefully, me playing in the Premier League clubs like United, Chelsea and Manchester City might take an interest and I might sign for them. Then the next step is signing for Real Madrid or Barca. But I'm so excited to bring in this career. I'm going to show you the, the top goal scorers for Everton at the moment. So uh, it's actually Miralas. The striker is Naismith with seven goals. And for some reason, Lukaku hasn't been playing many games. He must have picked up an injury or whatnot. So, uh, yeah, I will be playing the majority of my matches. But there's going to be a, a fair, there's going to be like four simulations coming up simply because I didn't get picked for the team. So this is no fault of my, of my own. I'm currently ranking 14th at the squad at Everton. So that's going to be interesting. But this is the month we're looking at. Imagine being signed in February. Arsenal, Liverpool... Chelsea, Leicester, and then two matches in European football. How crazy is that, guys? So there's the rest of the season as well. Um, so a lot of matches to look forward to as well. Okay. So we had a simulation match here against Manchester City. Now, that calendar did change. Um, I did say I was going to get my debut Versing Arsenal. We do. It's just been reshuffled around. So we have an FA Cup match against Manchester City. Unfortunately, we lost 3-1. Naismith did pick up one goal. Fernandinho picked up the other. And Sergio Gro picked two as well. So that's the only thing that's going to be frustrating. 
Uh, and like we have to take our opportunities as we can because if not, uh, it could be it kind of bad for us. So we have the Merseyside derby here, Everton versus Liverpool. Shame we couldn't play in our first Merseyside, but it was it was okay in the end. Everton managed to win 2-0. Eden McGeady and Sammy Eto managed to come off the bench, making it 2-0 against the Scousers. Now we have a simulation match here against Chelsea. Now, I'm obviously not simming this deliberately. I didn't get picked in the side, so I can't play, which is disappointing. But uh, what are you going to do? We had a simulation match against Chelsea here. Unfortunately, we lost 5-0. And John Stones, my God, he managed to pick up a two-month injury, which is not good uh, whatsoever. So, guys, what a match to have your debut on. We're going down to London at the Emirates to verse Arsenal. They're currently in 7th. I do believe we're currently sitting in 5th, so it's going to be a hell of a match. I've actually been to London in real life. I love the city. No, not as, bad to say, not as much as Manchester, but I do really love Manchester as well. As I was saying, we're currently sitting in 5th, so if we could get Champions League football this season, it would be absolutely crazy. But we have a big match, and the manager is putting a lot of confidence in me. Uh, to play at Chelsea, uh, play against Arsenal. Because the thing is, if we don't make an impression, they're just not going to play me. They've got so many other strikers, but hopefully with the quality of Ross Barkley, we've got Baines, we've got McGeady, hopefully those supporting players will be able to help me up front because I am obviously only playing as one person. But uh, yeah, we're currently sitting in fifth. Chelsea are leading on 59 points. So we're actually doing really good this season. Southampton are eighth. So maybe I'll, I might regret might regret the decision not signing for Southampton because we might get more of a run. But uh, who knows? We'll soon see. Match fitness-wise, we managed to win three of our four matches. We only drew the other one. So I, I'm, I think we're quite confident, but obviously... Having a match against Arsenal, it's going to be a big one, uh, nonetheless. So I just want to quickly recap the last episode for you guys. We end up winning 1-0 over Brisbane Raw. Um, then after that, we managed to draw 0-0 over Wellington Phoenix. We had a, we had a 3-0 win over Perth Glory. I managed to pick up two goals and the man of the match, and David Villa managed to pick up the other one. Later on in the fourth match, we managed to win 2-1 over Sydney. Uh, FC, it was Duff and me to pick up goals. So we did score a fair few goals with the Manchester, sorry, Melbourne City, um, a Melbourne City uh, jersey, I, I guess. We did manage to get the chip ball here. We managed to get the shot off. It does go wide and doesn't test Chesney, so a pretty bad shot, uh, to be quite frank. But we're on the ball here. We managed to find our fellow Everton player. He gets his shot off, falls short to Ross Barkley, and fires one in fire one, fires one at Chesney, but unfortunately was offside here. But we do manage to get in a pretty dangerous position. We fire one at Chesney, and it was my God, we were absolutely robbed for this one not to go on goal. And if you guys remember, there was actually a, a really it was basically the exact same goal, but it was with Duff at Manchester. Oh my God, Melbourne City. I'm gonna keep on saying that. But um, from the corner kick, we do manage to break away from the pack. And what a header this was at Chesney, really testing him there. So we got into a lot of situations. It wasn't really my fault. It was just, um, I don't know, Chesney was just playing absolutely on top form. Ross Barkley, they're getting his shot off. So we were dominating Arsenal at this point in the game, but we just couldn't seem to break it down. But I'm on the ball here. I managed to beat the big man, Murtisaka. And look how much space I have here. Absolutely fire at Chesney. In the A-League, that would have gone in. I should be at least 2-0 up here. But unfortunately, didn't go in. I managed to find Ross Barkley. He couldn't put it in the back of the net. Everton were determined to beat Arsenal here. Another shot goes wide. And that's how the match ended. Unfortunately, I couldn't score on my debut. But uh, you, what are you going to do? You can't make everyone happy. A nil-nil win against Arsenal is probably not the best thing. Seeing that Arsenal currently in seventh. And we need the three points to hopefully get uh, more European football. And quite possibly Champions League football uh, next year. So because of that performance I didn't score, I obviously didn't get picked in the team. So we have a simulation match here against Leicester. We are playing at home, so uh, we'll be able to see the result here. A 2-2 draw, which is unfortunate. We didn't play our strongest team there, but um, this is the, the next four matches they wanted me to do. They wanted me to score one goal, since they only gave me one game to score a goal, which is kind of unfair. And um, yeah, but we do have a European... A Euro League match here against Aalborg. I think I say you say it. It's the round 32 uh, in the Euro League, so we could quite possibly have 
a cup run on our hands. How fantastic would that be? So we have our first chance at European football. I've come all the way from Australia to the UK, and uh, I think this club's in Germany. I, I, with that name, I would imagine it would be in the lower Bundesliga. I'm not too sure. But um, we are playing at Molten Road. <laughs> But uh, it's going to be interesting. Hopefully, we can get our first goal for Everton, and uh, hopefully, just get this career, this player career mode up and running. Get some goals uh, under Everton. So, guys, if you are enjoying this FIFA 15 My Player Career Mode, make sure to leave a like. I would really much appreciate it. I do put a lot of effort into these videos, and a simple like really does go a long way in exposing my channel to other new viewers. And uh, it really makes me feel good. I, I enjoy likes. It's good to see. So we do manage to get a header off here from the corner kick, but Larson was, was pretty on form here. I managed to through ball to Cole when he gets his shot off. Unfortunately, hits the post. It crumbles to me. I do manage to get my shot off, but Larson was on hand. But you could just tell the quality of the team. Like I was able to get so much more balls here. We do manage to feed it to Barry and absolutely... Barry, <laughs> I don't know where I was going with it, but Barry absolutely belts it there, the former Manchester City man, just look how much I was able to control the ball, nice little, uh, like holding the ball, nice little fake shot, threw balls it to Barry, and he absolutely buries his parts last one to make it 1-0, this is the round of 32, so I'm hoping if I can get a goal, I might be able to get some more Premier League action, I do manage to f uh, throw ball here to Jaggy Elka, I do believe it is, um, he managed to get, unfortunately, get his shot off and it got saved. But uh, I'm back on the ball here, trying to get my debut goal for Everton. And I do, just before the 40th minute. Simpsy, the Australian, the, the young Australian lad, manages to pick up his first European goal and his first goal for Everton. So it's good to see Coleman and Barry and, uh, and Miralas celebrate with me to make it 2 0. So we're obviously in a good situation here. Larson, unfortunately, uh, saved that one. But it was a good goal. Uh, disappointing that I didn't get my goal against Arsenal. But it's good to see that I did pick up my debut goal here in the European League. But you can just tell the quality difference. I would imagine Oldberg or whatever this team's called is probably a three or a, a, a barely a four-star team. So it's, a, it's not surprising that I've started off the scoring here. I nearly make it my second goal in an Everton jumper. But unfortunately, the, the shot was saved. I was dominating in this match here. I was on the ball, and I do manage to draw a penalty here, which is quite funny. I uh, running down the running down the wing here, cutting back inside from the box, and there was just a solid tackle there, clear penalty. I really wish I could have been able to take it, but we've got a world-class penalty kick taker here in Baines. He steps up and makes it 3-0, so we're going to be pushing... Um, well, I guess it's not really, we're not in the group stage, so goal aggregate doesn't really matter. Baines picks up one for his collection, uh, fortunately. But a good goal to make it 3-0. And uh, it's a really good team win. I was instrumental in all three goals. I had an assist with Barry. Obviously, it's not going to show up my card, but I gave the penalty to Baines. So that's another. So I basically got, got two assists in this match and one goal. So if I don't get him out of the match, I'm going to be absolutely gutted. We're still determined to get more goals here. Miralas manages to find me on the ball. And who would have thought I managed to draw another penalty. It was just shambles in the the defense for the opponent here. They just couldn't seem to contain me. And uh, I was trying to get back inside here to get on my left foot. And I just got absolutely wrecked. So Baines again steps up to score his second goal of the match. He absolutely thumps it. It hits the crossbar. And unfortunately, he couldn't claim his second for the match. So if he scored that, I would have had three assists and one goal. But we do manage to win um, win this match in the EuroLeague. And we do manage to pick up the man of the match and my debut goal. So thank you guys for watching if you watched all the way through. I really do appreciate it. Remember to leave a like to support this series and my channel. And above all, remember to go and have a fantastic rest of your day. Thanks a bunch, guys. Simsy out.